written by question over that homework, right? And those are all over my Schoology, or not my Schoology, but my YouTube page. So in yesterday's directions, guys, and I'm like not trying to make anyone feel bad, but it literally said, if you'd like some help on last night's homework, right? And you can kind of go dig through my Schoology or my YouTube if you want, but like this walks through step by step, problem by problem. Because every year I do things a little bit differently. Uh, by the way, worth reminding you, if you're looking for help from me and you come to my channel, you can search up like 3.1.1 and see what I have on there. And like sometimes I have homework help where like people have come to math lunch and then other ones are just like me teaching the lesson. But like you can search up what I got or if you want to go to the next day and see if I go over that homework on the next day. So yeah, feel free to search around on my channel. All right, 312. Here, I'll go back to 311 for anyone at home recording or watching the recording. All right, 312, however you diagrammed that, you could have used number lines, algebra tiles. questions on 312 that we can go over kind of quickly. We can't take forever on this. We all good? Any questions? Ah, you doing all right? You look <laughs> bored. Well, you could be working on three, two, two. Never mind. <laughs> like today's the new worksheet that's on the back counter. Uh, yeah, guys, if you are sitting and doing nothing, you probably could be doing something. Right? Like in any class, at any time at Phoenix, right? If you're sitting and doing nothing, there's probably something else you could do. All right. So everything old, either turned in if it's done or put it away if it's not. 322 is the only thing we need out right now. So I will give you a moment to turn things in and shift over or flip things back in. 322. If you don't have it, it's on the back table. Yeah. If you have two things being turned in, or if you have multiple things being turned in, yeah, go ahead and take them. Um, I like like the oldest one on top, so three on one, but that's just how I organize. That, if you do it the other way, that's fine. I just like to organize with the oldest on top. Are there class examples on this paper? Yes, so keep this out, right? So three, two, two, keep it out. That does not mean sneak doing your homework. Back in your binder. Yeah, your practice goals form just always lives in your binder, guys. Negatives, which if you don't know what 
negative is compare these things to each other, I bet you'll be able to figure it out. If you don't have enough, tell me I'll bring you more. My bags have gotten a little goofed up. If you don't have enough, I'll bring you more. These are not erasers, although I know they kind of feel like it. So we have positives and we have negatives. Pull out 10 negatives. Now, I want to see if you and your teammates can figure out four different ways. Uh oh, this little math has to get creative. Oh, was there more back there? I think there's more in the closet. I want you, starting with negative 10, to end up with negative 4. And then write out what we've done. So, Rafael, I'll make sure we're listening to my directions because we're not actually making the, the we're, we're pulling out 10 of the negative tiles. Right, so you, you should have a pile with 10. Ooh, I need a bag. Go ahead and keep going. You guys can work without me before I get set up. How can we get this to equal negative 4? Can we add things? Can we take things away? Could we do either? Ooh, both at the same time? Now you're getting crazy. All right, 10 negatives. We should probably use cards because, you know, what's a Friday without some randomness? Uh, no. no. All right, Gabe, I'll shuffle. How about that? Yeah. We'll change this order up. Do we have Justin in here today? No. no. Addy, can you tell me one way we can, starting at negative 10, end up at negative four. Oh, the positives? So every positive that I add, what happens when you have a negative with a positive? They fight and, and do what? If there's one of each. They cancel each other out, right? So that would cancel out. That would cancel out. That would cancel. Ah, six of them, you say now. All right, so they're... Another one, another one. So we added six positives, and that worked for us. You're absolutely right. How we would write that out? So this should go, oh, wait, what do we have out every day that I think some of us forgot? Graph paper. This is number 39. So what Addy did, started with negative 10, added how many, Addy? How many? Yeah, six. Were they positive or negative? Positives, right? And that ended us at negative four. So there's one way. One way checked off. We can add positives. Great. What's another way? And some of you might be thinking, like, how are we going to do, do this four different ways? Like, June, can you think of another way we could start with negative 10? So we're going to have to reset this, right? Start with negative 10. Can you think of another way? Can you think of another way to end up with negative 4? Whoa, 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 June. You want to skip? Totally fine. Margo, do you got a way? Nate? Talk with your partner. Two minutes, talk with your teammate. Uh, Too many skips means we need more time.
I mean, you can. Well, like, you can do anything you want, as long as, like, you don't break any math rules. Is that the best idea? I don't know. Like, if you try to, like, multiply by zero, it's not breaking the math rules. Like, she said, like, can you multiply? Sure, but if you multiply by zero, it doesn't really do anything useful. Hey, you can pull that stool down, man. I know. Missed. Do you have another way for us? Pass. Lily. Eleven. No thank. Moss. You keep complaining that I haven't called on you. I have so many ways. You have so many ways. All right, Moss, drop some knowledge on us. Okay. So. You guys are fine. Could we, can we only add, like, is, can we only bring more stuff in? No. Well, you still just said add, though. So I'm, I did this one. Okay. So, are you passing? I'm going to pass. Jana? Um, I didn't know. Okay, so I'm going to come back to that. Because that got way complicated really fast. So, Jana, I, I think I heard you say, like, a plus and, and a minus also. So, a minus, what's another way to say minus if I'm looking at, like, what I have? What? Well, sh I love that. I have you guys trained so well. Can I take some of these tiles away? Sure. Right? Like, if I... So... Jane, you got way complicated. What you said is right, but it got really complicated. But before we dive that deep, guys, if you have negative 10, can you take away some negative tiles? Yes. You can take away negatives. So take away negative 6, right? Because taking away the negative actually is a good thing. Like you should have heard me say in the video yesterday, taking away a negative is like removing a negative. Yeah, a positive. You guys are gonna break my heart because I know that you maybe watched the video, maybe you didn't. Well, maybe I wasn't it better. Guys, I talked about Superman, Spider-Man, Batman, then I complained about oh, all of them being men. Yeah. Yes. Is taking away what? Taking away. A negative is like removing bad guys, bad guys oh. which is a good thing. Yeah. Getting rid of bad guys is a good thing. Yeah. Ah! Well, so still the negatives have more though. So right now, still the negatives have more. Gina, what did you say? I'll write it out now that we're over on this screen. Um, Let's look at 43 on your example paper. So jump to 43. So I will tell you, technically, there are infinitely many ways to get to that answer. Technically, there's infinitely many ways. You could keep doing different stuff. Margo? I think that's what we need to do to get to negative 4, yeah, is if we add negative 10 or subtract 10, but yeah, 
So talk with your teammate about these problems for a moment. Solve the ones that you can. Like, go ahead and solve the ones you can. The ones that you can't solve yet, try to figure out what is confusing you about them. Take, like, three minutes, and then we'll come back together. So we're starting at negative 100.86, and then minus, we'll rewrite it if you want to. Hey, Moss doesn't like how this is written, so the first thing Moss is doing is rewriting A and putting the negative in parentheses, probably. So that's the first thing Moss did, because it's, it's the right thing to do. Minus a negative always, taking away bad guys always, a good thing, right? Always turns into plus a positive. Guys, I only, well, okay, I shouldn't say only. Addition makes so much more sense than subtraction. Because addition is like this and that, as opposed to this take away that. Because because if I look at what we started with, like what we were just dealing with, negative 10. Can I take away 12 negatives? No, because you don't like not Like, I can't right now, like, like that doesn't make sense. Take away 12 negatives. But minus negative 12, minus negatives, you're making noise and that's not going to work. So you figure out how to do it quietly or you can't do it. Minus negatives, add positives. Can I add 12 positives? Yeah. yeah. Subtraction doesn't really make sense. Addition does. So now with A, good guy, bad guy, who's going to win? Unfortunately, the bad guy is way more powerful. Why? How much does he win by? A lot, right? So, hey, to figure out how much, we got to do 100.86 minus 3.86. Figure out the difference. Oh, it's 98. So the bad. I think it's 98, isn't it? No. Here, let me. It, it should be 97. Guys, these cancel. These, it's 97. Sorry, I forgot to borrow. My bad. 97. But negative, right? Because the negative one. All right, do B. That one's actually slightly easier. I'll say one starting us off kind of difficult. Minus a negative always is a positive. 
turns into plus a positive. Well, I'll confer with your partner. It's the whole point of having teammates. So guys, like often happens on Friday, we don't get through the lesson. Yes, you have the homework. Yes, it is quote unquote assigned. But I will probably make it Monday's homework also. Right? So don't freak out that we're only halfway through the lesson. Uh, I should probably be draining cards. Oh, we got three minutes yeah. left. Christian, what's going to happen with 21 minus negative 7? Well, no. What's going to happen with it? Yeah, we turn this. We should show our work. We should show our work that some of you aren't doing as I walked around and looked at this. It turns into addition. We make a note of that, and then we do the addition and get our answer. Now C, Raphael, does C minus a negative? Oh. oh yeah, they're both, like they are both negatives, but it doesn't minus a negative, right? Yeah, this is actually gonna be add a negative. So if I write this down, negative 24, and I could put it in parentheses to clean it up, and negative six, right? If we say this is negative, instead of saying subtraction, if we say this is negative, we've got two bad guys. Oh, no. Do bad guys fight or team up? Team oh, up. man. They fight. And then they're going to do something crazy. Well, what are they, when they teamed up, what did they make? Raphael, what's 24 and six make when they team up? I want to say that. Yeah, she was gonna say Hey, next time she has a question to answer, you steal the answer from her. You yeah. save the answer first. <laughs> For D, uh, and D, Donovan, is Donovan here? Yeah, Donovan. We, we just did. Oh my God. You stole the answer from Raphael. Yeah. <laughs> that was the whole thing that happened. Donovan, what do we have going on in D? So that is actually still a nine. I know it's kind of tough to see from way back there. But we said we don't like subtraction. Is there a way that I can change that into not being subtraction? But stop, I can't hear Donovan. We can't just make it, but it, it has that sign there. Miss? We can say and another negative. Guys, this is the work that I'm really hoping you put on your paper because it's going to help you on your homework. It's going to help you on your homework. So now I have two bad guys. We know they're going to team up. Before we can add fractions, we need common denominators. Common denominators. Do we have that? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. So can we add these? Yes. Negative What's, 7 over 9. Yeah, negative 7 times. And with that, that is all the time. No. Have a wonderful Friday. Enjoy the canteen. DJ Hubcap will have a request list. Yay. Yay. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, I'll probably set it out for lunch while I'm setting up. But like during the canteen, I'm going to come right into the canteen. That desk thing back there is my DJ setup. It is sealed out. Yes. That literally, I, I learned how to do sound on that desk. We separated the minuses and pluses. And now I'm following you over here. My church closed down. They never do the number church. So my dad calls me up and he's like, Hey, you know that oak table? Like, that oak is like an expensive oh, nice yeah. table. You know that oak desk from like the soundboard? You yeah. use that? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah.
Here, let me stop this recording real quick because now this is just like going long for no 